I knew we were both going to be vlogging, like an in inception. <laughs> I'm giving McKenna the tour. She hasn't seen anything. Like, I see an arch. I, I know you see an arch already. <laughs> I think they're still finishing and working on it, though. <laughs> that wasn't there before, McKenna. <laughs> Uh, how are you? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Did they find electrical above it? No, that was already there. Yeah. Yeah. They, like, so this, oh, the sconce is off. So there's actually a sconce that goes here, oh. um, but they probably just plastered it. Look, there's a sink, McKenna. <laughs> what is this gonna be? This is gonna go. It's going on that. It's going on that. Is it, but is this gonna go in my bathroom? It, yes, yours. Okay. It, yeah, we have to share it actually. We do. But we do need to get one larger so that we can take a bath in it. <laughs> like a true Turkish A bath. Turkish bathtub. Like you I know, it. I know, like right? You, you've been Literally, away I have. This. It took me quite a while to get it to this state. <laughs> <laughs> so I found a light if you come in here. Look at this uh, chandelier. I found that matches. Oh my god. Isn't that so cool? It's a 1920s. Yeah, cast iron. It's real heavy. Yeah. So where is this gonna go? In I I don't know. I just bought it. <laughs> the house. I'm not sure. What the? <laughs> <laughs> That's a big hutch. I got that at the Salvation Army. Sorry, yes. Like Isn't that a good one? No, I've never found anything like this at the Salvation Army. I just love. Look at those handles. <gasps> I should just open like oh, yeah, okay. like so that. They just Yes, but I'm gonna remove this because yeah. and have it more open it, like this. It's almost like it, it had a good idea. Yes. But it, it, it's not quite it. No, what is this? No, it looks very island. It's not island good. Best. The colors in the arch, you can kind of see it. <laughs> the room is up. <laughs> this is what real DIY Yes, uh huh. Look at that room. <laughs> Do you like? It's beautiful. It looks a little cool, but the thing is, is that once these glass doors are added, oh. it's gonna add that like warm glow because oh all of the light comes through those doors. Oh my gosh. I love them. True. I found those. I remember you saw them and they were in the window section, right? Yes, the, the window, window section, uh huh. And, and then I dropped one. I love it so much. <gasps> What if those are the same size? And then you were, they you were, were. Like, wait, yeah. I really love They're this. just one inch shorter. Like they're oh, literally perfect width and one inch shorter. So I just have to add an inch to the bottom. Or bring the thing down an inch. Well, raise the threshold. Oh, I don't even know what that means. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> the threshold, like, you know, like you, out, it stops the rain from coming inside and, and it's like a little up. Oh, okay. On the floor, kind of like you walk oh, over yeah, it. Oh, that little like upper, yeah. The little like slopey thing. It's just thingy. a piece of wood. That okay, you got it. Angle on the yeah. sides. You can literally put that and just raise it up. And got it. Because it's not like you're gonna go out there, are you? No, I'm because there's Rapunzel at my ear now. No, I'm Rapunzel. I'm I'm doing Rapunzel over on that balcony. I feel like Rapunzel. Like I'm gonna let down my long hair. Yeah, yeah the sure. balcony is for like something else. I don't know what yet. I can just leave it as is. I think. 100%. Don't you think this could be stained as is? Yes. Yeah. And you can put water based on it, no matter what it was. We yeah. don't know what it was. It uh -huh. was oil or water. Water can go over anything. Yeah. You can even use a gel stain. You're gonna have to use gel. To I think that dark. I know. Gel, yeah. That's what I was figuring yeah. too. Look at how much we know. Oh <laughs> We're professionals. Okay. Look. Oh my. God. That's the light. That was what you wanted to see. No, no, Isn't no. that good? That's Wait. Want me to turn it on yeah. and show you? Shine bright like a diamond. Oh. oh. And it's on a dip. Isn't that good? Yeah. It's Watch. Good. Look. I could just really. I could dim it for like oh. nighttime oh. events. So McKenna, I really want your room to be close to mine. Oh, so I'm here, like I'll be in this room, and yeah. you're just right next door. Oh, this is just cool. right next door. This is cool. Yes, but since you're only gonna be here like on occasion, like I feel like it's a perfect space for you. It's perfect. Yeah. It's literally perfect. Uh huh. Look at my closet. Yes. Look, you have so much space for your DIY supplies. Yes. Ample storage. You and RJ can like fit everything you guys have in the space. Literally. Like everything. I'm moving, <laughs> I'm moving in. I mean, you have six bedrooms. Right? <laughs> you Look, you even have coved ceilings with trim on it. <laughs> can I change the light? You can. I will allow that. 
Oh, you can go through the dining room way if you want. I want to see the arch. Yeah, the big arch, because you'll see right through the doorway. <laughs> oh! <laughs> my, it, that wasn't there before! <laughs> So I know, right? Now it's more of an entertainment dining Yes. Room. If you see here, this isn't centered. So of course, right. like when straight on, it's not centered, right. which doesn't bother me, but it's not my favorite thing in the world. Yeah. But when you look at it from the archway, it is centered. Yeah. Like if you come out here, oh, yeah. it's centered. Yeah. Like if you if you're just looking at from it. Your yeah. Because mm -hmm. of I the angle you're at. I see what you mean. You mean like the cabinetry and the counter. Yeah. I literally haven't seen any of this either. I'm like looking at it too. I'm like, oh, no, I haven't seen it since like it's been like, it was like last time I saw it, it wasn't fully smoothed out like this. And this too, McKenna, this was all where I ripped out everything. <laughs> they redraw, I haven't seen it either. Okay, so, short time. <laughs> I'm watching this video, right? And I'm like, Drew, Drew goes, it's all like, oh. I've never demoed anything in my life. Doesn't seem from what I've seen anything crazy. <laughs> Break. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Maybe I should have gotten one of those actual mallets. But then, like, what do you do with all this on the wall? This is bad. It looks easy. Like, <laughs> if he only knew, I'm gonna take off me, me in the room, being like, go home, take off the tile. It was so hard. It's the worst thing I ever had done. So this is now at a state where I can. Yes. Fix and look, this is added too. Oh. That was just a normal oh, doorway before. Good. Oh, that's so yeah, good. Yeah, so much better. Oh, that's so good. I added that one in um, after. So I actually did the other three first and then nice. they had to come back to like do the repair. So yeah. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna add this one in too. That one's getting covered. It's like a fuse box or whatever. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that's a. I don't really know what that is, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Can, can you put that back for me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's just the music Yeah, it needs a cover, right? I'm breaking your house! I love it. I can't wait to move in. <laughs> yeah, literally immediately. Wait, are you moving in? Get up. Oh my gosh. I'm adding that in the video. So I'm literally not in the video. We're so ridiculous, <laughs> but I'm seriously moving in. I'm currently in New York City for about eight days, just here for a couple of meetings, and then I also came because I had some friends that were gonna be here during the time as well, and I figured it was a perfect time to head to New York, do some meetings, do a little bit of work, and also I found out that there is a Chelsea flea market this weekend on Sunday, and I've also gotten a couple of other recommendations of really incredible home stores in New York, so I think I'm gonna film like a little antique thrift vlog while I'm here as well. I love New York City so much. I remember the first couple times I came to the city, I didn't love it. I was like, why would someone want to live in this congested? It is a very dirty city at the same time, but there is something so magical about New York City. Just the vibes, the environment, the fashion, the culture, the street, the architecture, everything about New York City to me is like incredible. And I also want to share with you guys, look at this beautiful view right now. Such a beautiful hotel room. So, so grateful for this as well. I actually don't have much to do today. I already went out and explored a little bit this morning. I went to the Jenny Kane store. It was absolutely beautiful. And I just came back to the room and figured I would answer some of your guys' questions because I actually asked you guys over on Instagram a while back. And if you do not follow me already on Instagram, make sure to do so. It is just Lone Fox Home. I asked you guys if you had any questions on the house at all. Like, go crazy, ask me your questions. And I've gotten so many random DM'd questions as well. So let me grab my phone really quickly and we can answer some questions. A little water. Lighting is so pretty right now. I wonder if I can even make it prettier. Let's see. That was majorly successful. Now, one of the first questions that so many people have asked is if Marie is still going to be living with me. And yes, she is. If you guys did not know, Marie actually works full time with me as well at Lone Fox. So her position is a lot more of like back end tasks, if that makes sense. But we do a lot of creative stuff together as well, which is really fun. And of course, she's going to be moving in as well. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot more of her. She's normally not super into being on camera. However, I think she is kind of coming around to it a little bit more. Um, so you'll probably see more of her at the new house. 
Sharon LTK asks, what are you going to be doing with all of those valuable fixtures? Now, if you guys did not see, I actually had all of the vintage light fixtures in my home appraised. Some of them are even antique. There is like a light fixture from 1890 in my house. So a lot of them are original. However, they are all still currently in their spots. Now, something I will say is I am going to change them. A lot of people were like, you have to keep every light fixture in its exact same spot. And I will say about 70% of the fixtures I love, but there are 30% of them that I do want to change. They're not my style. I think they can go better in someone else's home. They don't even match the actual style of the house. There's a lot of very French themed light fixtures throughout the home and the house is more Spanish themed of course. So I do want to maybe remove a couple of those here and there and then introduce some light fixtures that actually tie back to some of the original Spanish ones. So with that acanthus leaf, which I shared with you guys, that motif kind of makes its way throughout the home. I want to add more of that throughout. And I just feel like currently there is such an array of different eras and different style of lighting throughout the home. And I just kind of want to streamline it a tiny bit more. Mol Vasasha says, what's the outdoor space like? And currently the back outdoor space is just a flat concrete pad, which I definitely want to break that up. I want to bring some life, some greenery, some nature to this backyard. And I'm also thinking that I want to build a shed out here. So somewhere that I can actually go and have like a workshop for woodworking and crafting and creating projects that isn't inside in like a living room. So in the back, I'd love to have like a workshop. I'd love to have grass. I'd love to have a bunch of trees. I still have to figure out how to bring some trees in there. So if any of you guys happen to know anyone in the landscape industry, please let me know because it could be very helpful. Sophie B asks, so curious, what are your plans for the pink tile bathroom? And currently the pink tile bathrooms, I'm planning on keeping them as is. Now there is some tile in the pink tile bathrooms that I just need to fix. It's where you can tell that some of the original tiles were actually patched. I'm actually going to try once I get to those spaces in the design to have those tiles either recreated or try to find very similar tiles that I can replace those with. I do want to keep the bathroom as is. However, I don't know if I want to do any adjustments to it in any way. Something I'll say is that the tile is beautiful itself but the layout is not ideal for a bathroom like the shower is a one and a half foot square box like it is cramped you feel claustrophobic in the shower it's just not the best layout but of course visually it's extremely stunning so i'm gonna play around with it once i get there we are keeping the tile do not worry guys that's not going anywhere danny unplanned just says flooring and that's a great question. I'm actually currently going through the process of having the floors refinished. So they haven't started yet. They're coming on the 12th to start the first day of refinishing the floors, which I'm very excited about. And currently the upstairs unit is a dark brown stained floor, but it just feels lifeless. Like this floor upstairs looks so dry in a sense. I know that sounds weird, but it feels like the life was sucked out of it. And there's just like a tinge of brown on the floor. And then downstairs is kind of like a light warm blonde color of wood. But personally myself, I think I want to go warmer with the floors, more of like an old world style. So I'll pop up a couple of photos of just a few stain examples. I am going to have the floors refinished though. I decided to do it because I knew I was going back and forth on it for a while. And that's why it kind of didn't happen while everything else was happening because ideally it should have to save time. Um, but I was going back and forth on it. And then I decided that, you know, I'm not going to in the future want to do this and have to remove everything from the house. Like while it's currently vacant and there's nothing in it, I should have the floors redone. It's only three week process. So, you know, we're going to have it done. I just already know that the floors redone are going to look incredible camera just died, replaced the battery. Kate says, why would you have two kitchens in the unit if you're connecting it to make one house? And that is a great question, Kate. And that is because in the future, if I do want to unconnect them, if I want to maybe turn them into two rental properties again, I personally like the idea of having two kitchens. Also, something else is that I do feel like the Lone Fox team is going to grow over the next couple of years. I've actually had a bunch of you guys reaching out after I said that in the last video, like sending resumes to my email. And I'm planning on using the lower unit more so for the team and for working and creating content for you guys and then the upstairs for living. So I think it's going to be nice to have those two kitchens. Even though it is a little strange, I'm all right with having both. Seagas asks, is the house haunted? And I don't think so. I have not, there's been nothing at all weird that's happened, like nothing strange. And I've been there at all hours of the day and night and... I don't think. Simply Denise asks, do you have a timeline for your home projects? And I do. I have like a mental timeline, if that makes sense. I would ideally like to be done with the entire home in like a year and a half, two years, which I don't know if that sounds way fast. I just need to give myself something in my head to like push myself to work on the space. And that, again, you guys all know I changed my mind so much. Like I'm constantly remaking over spaces. Um, I will say, I feel like I got my apartment to a perfect 
perfect medium like that I just love the way that that space ended up turning out so in the home I feel like in two years I'll be able to finish it because at my apartment I finished every single room in one and this is essentially like two of those apartments put together um, and a little bit more so maybe two to three years or so but if it takes five years that is also fine you know we're gonna have fun with it Oh, this is a good one. Anthony Soda asks, what room are you most excited to decorate during the holidays? And honestly, I'm most excited to decorate the lower living room because it has that picture window that's kind of like the arched egg-shaped window. And could you imagine a Christmas tree right in the middle of that? And I also personally love the fireplace in the lower one more. I feel like it's a bit more detailed. So the fireplace and the window in that space are just ideal for holiday decorating. So I'm gonna have to say the lower living room. Dua Eiman asks, do you have any inspiration pictures? A Pinterest question mark? If so, will you show us some? And yes, of course, let me do a little scroll of my Pinterest board here for you guys. So this is kind of a little bit of the direction. Now I know, of course, this is going in a bunch of different directions, but maybe it'll give you guys a bit of a sense. I'm definitely gonna go bold in this home for sure. I feel like with Spanish style, you can really take it bold, have fun with colors, have fun with textures, and that's what I'm definitely gonna be doing. So this is a little bit of the direction. I also wanna be very tile heavy in this house. I feel like Spanish architecture is also known for tile work, and I want it implement tile work throughout this home. And this is going to be a great home for me to learn a new skill set, which is tiling. I have never tiled anything before and I'm so excited to tile my first project, which will probably be the kitchen flooring or probably something in the kitchen will be my first tile job. Heather underscore M22 asks, when are you moving in? So I think we are finally going to be able to move in right after the floors are refinished. So it's looking like middle of October at the moment, maybe like middle of October, end of October, if not early, early November. Will you be painting the outside of the house? And at the time, I'm not going to. Something I will say is I just wish that the previous owners didn't paint it when they did. They actually painted it in February of this year. And before that, it was white, which I would have loved to have seen it as white but they painted it in February to that kind of like aqua-y blue shade so in the future I do have the opportunity to paint it now this house is in a historical zone meaning that I actually can't change anything architecturally on the outside of the house without a permit but I do believe I'm allowed to paint it if anyone knows if I have to get that like approved let me know but at the moment I'm just gonna keep it as is but I do think in the future I might go and customize the outside of the home of course and make it kind of fit the inside once the entire inside is done and I have a sense for the entire vibe of the home Adri Tara Piondo asks can I have it and yes I will send you the paperwork to sign the lease over or not the lease the what is it even that I have what do you get the deed the title the deed I'll give it to you girl don't worry <laughs> And that concludes our little Q&A for this video. I hope that you guys loved this. I just didn't want to leave Sunday like with no video. I was like, you know what? I can answer a bunch of questions that people have been asking. I also filmed a little vlog with McKenna, which I don't know if we were too crazy or not. So I'll have to see when I edit that if it's watchable <laughs> because we were like running around the house. But I will catch you guys in my next one. I am so excited to go to the Chelsea flea market this Sunday. Oh my gosh, and this is going up on Sunday. So if any of you have any recommendations for New York City thrifting, antiquing, I am in like the actual city, like I'm not in Brooklyn, but I could go there. Like I definitely could go there. Let me know in the comments below any, any recommendations at all I would love. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.